Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing some of the products that I've featured on some of my shopping hauls. So let's get started. Okay, the first product that I'm going to be reviewing is going to be this Traveler's Notebook that I showed in a couple of shopping hauls ago. Um, I love this notebook. It's worked perfectly for what I wanted it for, which is for my traveling. I keep all of my weekly to-dos when I'm out and about in here. I keep my money in here. I keep my school card in here. I keep everything I need in here. I no longer carry a wallet. I just carry this. Sometimes I don't even carry a purse. I just carry this. I love it. It's made life so easy. If you open this up, I actually put, I've got all of my cards, my ID, and everything over here. I actually put my receipts from when I go shopping here so that I can keep track of all of my budget, which I do in one of my planners. Um, I actually use this really great magnet I got to hold it in place. And then, of course, I have a Joann's coupon. In this first notebook, you'll see I've used this for about two weeks. I didn't put any weekly to-dos on my errands last week because I knew what I had to do. So I just didn't bother to write that in. Um, but I love this because it has things to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, weekly to-dos, and then notes. And I use this all the time when I go out and about. And then this other notebook in here is just my list. This is just grocery lists. So this gives me a place that I can keep my grocery lists while I'm out and about. And then I actually bought, um, when I was at Walmart this week, I actually bought... Oh, I, I actually bought this to add to this notebook, so I thought I would let you guys see me do that. Um, and this is just a See It Bigger monthly two-year planner. Now, some of it has already gone by, obviously, because it's not it's it's not January or February of 2019 anymore. But I paid a dollar fifty for this, and it's got two years, so. Even though some of it's gone, I still have over a year left. And I'm just going to go ahead. And you can see this is about the same size as these notebooks, so I think this is going to work great. I wasn't really sure, but it actually looks like it's about the same size. So now I just have to figure out how it goes in here. I guess about the halfway point. So that would be about right there. And then you take your band, I'm guessing, that's in here, if I can get a hold of it. And you just put it through here, right? That's what it looks like to me. And then pull it the rest of the way through, like so. Oh, that is perfect! And then it holds that in there like that. And now I have my to-dos and my planner and my notebook. Now I may go back in and switch um, my to-dos and my planner around so that my planner is in the front. And what I want to use this for is, well, you know, I'm really not sure yet. I'll probably keep track of appointments and just things I have to do while I'm out and about in the monthly section. I just thought it would be nice to have it in here. I'm sure it will come in handy. Um, and I absolutely love this product. I think it's amazing. I will say sticking that extra notebook in here made it really thick. That's probably about all I'm going to be able to put in here because um, it's really full and I don't want to wreck it. Um, the other thing I will say is that in my in and out of my smaller purse that I have, um, this pen clip did come loose. So that's something I want to make you guys aware of. If you want to go buy these, they're like, I think, $8 at Walmart. To me, it was well worth the $8 because this Traveler's Notebook case is totally reusable and it does wash well. You guys will see it's dirty. It's okay. I'll take a damp paper towel, wash it down, and it washes fine. Um, so they do come clean well. Um, but yeah, I love this product. It's been really great so far. It's working wonderfully for what I need. And even though it is extra thick, I can still, you see, put this on here. So it does still close. It's just a little thicker with that extra notebook in there. But I really wanted a monthly planner. Um, and it was so cheap that I just decided to go ahead and do it. So there's the review of that. And again, I think this is a product that's well worth the $8. I'm really rough on stuff, so you know, there is that. You get what you pay for. Had I went out and bought a more expensive one, it may be a little bit more durable for someone like me, but for my first traveler's notebook, I didn't want something super expensive because I wanted to make sure it was going to be a product that would actually work for me and I was actually going to use. So that's why I went with the cheaper version. And that may be better for some of you guys as well if you're not sure that it's a product you want to use, but you really want to try one. That's what I find works really well for me. 
So this is a great product. They come in a variety of colors. I got it at my local Walmart. I'm sure you could probably order it online as well through Walmart, possibly through a variety of other stores. I'm sure other places have them. This is a pen and gear um, traveler's notebook. So if you want the brand, that is the brand. Again, it's just a cheap brand. Eight bucks at Walmart. We, I love it. It's, it's great for me. The other products that I want to review, I have two, are this weekly note. I'm going to go ahead and pull my sticky off of here for just a second. Okay, this is my weekly notes. I think I premiered this in the same video as the Traveler's Notebook, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm going to start using this notebook next week. As you can see, it's dated for the 15th through the 21st. I did use some washi so that I could just separate my days a little bit and give myself some space. Um, and I also used these Flare Tip Crayola Take Note pens. Um, I paid $5.99 for these and I got six pens, I believe, five or six pens. Um, you know, I'm mixed on these pens. They're not horrible pens for the price, um, but they're not the best pens for the price either. Like, I will use them because I bought them. But I don't know as I would buy them again. I, but then, guys, I'm really, really partial to my um, flare tip here that is from Paper Me. I love these pens, and I will tell you why. These pens write extremely smoothly. Um, the Crayolas, they don't write as smoothly. And I have real issues trying to keep my handwriting neat enough that I can even read it if my pen doesn't write smoothly enough. So that's my issue with these. It just doesn't write as smoothly as my flare tips. But again, you get what you pay for. So, you know, these are $5.99, you get six pens. These are $3.99, you get two pens. Again, that's at Target. It's probably different prices, different places. But to me, the extra money is worth it in the flare pens for the Paper Mate because they are just such a better quality pen. And to me, it's still a reasonable price. Like, I went, and because I had a coupon, I got the Tombow pens from Joann's, the Twin Tone Tombows, and I wasn't even as impressed with those as I was the Flare Tip from Paper Mate. And the Flare Tip from Paper Mate is actually considerably cheaper than the Tombow Twin pens. So that's just something, that's just my opinion, that's something to keep in mind. But if, if the fact that your pen doesn't write super smooth doesn't bother you and you're more of a conservative shopper that likes to save money and get a decent product, this is a decent product. This is not a product that I would never use again. Um, I will use these until they're gone. I may or may not buy them again. I don't know. If I could get them on sale maybe a little cheaper than $5.99, um, I may buy them again. To you, they may be totally worth $5.99. So, you know, it may be worth picking them up to check them out. Um, and for this Take Notes Weekly Notebook, again, as you can see, I just decorated it with some washi to separate my days. And then I'm just writing out some to-dos that I know for sure I need to get done next week. And I'm actually going to let you guys just see me write with one of these pens really quickly because I need to add in here um, that we need to dump our cat litter or scoop our cat litter every other day. And I know that sounds like a stupid thing to add, but believe it or not, if I don't do it, I don't remember. Like, if I don't write things down, I don't remember to do them. It's, it's not actually the process of looking at it. It's the process of writing it down. That's why I am a paper planner, because I have to write things down. So on Monday, I'm going to come in here with my pink pen, and I'm just going to write cat litter, because I know what that means, and it doesn't take up a super lot of space. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to do the same thing, and I can still do it with the pink, and we're just going to write cat litter. And again, you know, these pens are not horrible. Like, I'm spoiled because I use the Papermate flare tips already and know they're a better pen. But these are not a bad pen. And Crayola is not a bad brand. Like, I love Crayola crayons. Um, these, in my opinion, just are not quite as good as the flare tips. But um, some of you may find you like them better. So please don't let my review of them discourage you because it's not, like, a horrible pen. And then I'm going to come over here with my blue just because I already have pink on my Friday. And I'm just going to write in cat litter in blue. And I mean, as you can see, it's not super hard to write with them. So, I mean, it's not, like, you girls may love them fine. Like, I tend to be a picky person, and I always like the pricier items. My husband says it's because I'm an only, a chi an only child, so I don't know, maybe it is. I just always like expensive things. Um, and then I also went ahead because I knew that I wasn't going to have enough space on this weekly notes page. My husband's in the background laughing at me. I'm sorry if you can hear him. Um, I knew.
knew I wasn't going to have enough space on this weekly notes page for all of my daily to-do crap that I have to do like around my house, just chores and things. And it never fails that I always forget to do something because it's written inside of my planner and there's days where I honestly don't look at my planner even though I should, I just don't. So I went ahead and just stuck this on a sticky note so that that way I have it on me every day right in front of me on my desk. And it's just got, you know, things like make the bed, prep food, dishes, five minute pickup, laundry. And actually there's a list of all these things um, on the back of the housekeeping, like, I want to say it's like the, oh, I don't remember which pack it comes in, but it's the housekeeping one where it's got like chores and stuff. They're all listed on that folder on the back, so that's where that list came from. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick review of these products, let you see how I was using them, and these, again, these were all cheap products from Walmart, none of this stuff was expensive, I paid $8 for the Traveler's Notebook, I paid a dollar for the Weekly Notes, and I got these post-its when they were on sale for school season, these are post-it sticky notes, they are big, I love these, these are probably my favorite post-it notes ever because they're so big, um, and I, I paid 50 cents for them. And I got two different packs, and I'm all set with big post-it notes for quite a while. I do notice regular price, they're a little bit more. I'm not sure I would still be willing to pay it. But I paid 50 cents during school season, so that worked out great for me. And, yeah, these were all cheap products, all available at Walmart, and I'm sure a few other places as well. That's how I'm using them, so I hope it gives you some great ideas for your future use of planner products. And as always, I hope you have a blessed day and happy planning.